Welcome back everyone. As parents, we are all frustrated at times with our kids. There are moments that we know it can be really hard to know the right way to discipline them. Well, if you're trying to raise your children without spanking or yelling, alternative options can seem <laughs> very minimal. Where are these options? So what do we do honestly when we're pushed to the brink? It's not funny because I think we're pushed to the brink each and every day with the stressors of our lives. So we decided to dive into this in Real Talk with Kara. Of course, Jennifer Hankey stuck around. Thank you for doing that. And attorney and owner of the Punchline Comedy Club, Jamie Bendel. Yes. All right, so yes. first of all, uh, kids, how many and ages? Two, six, and three boys. Yes. Three, 18, 16, 14. Girls. Girls. All girls. Mm. Two, uh, seven and nine girls. Seven and nine girls, and I'm eight and 10 girls. So, you know, we were even talking about this in the commercial break, because it's, mm -hmm. it's a hot topic. In 2018, the American Academy of Pediatrics reaffirmed its position that spanking isn't effective discipline. Physical punishment in general may be to increased aggression in children. Yes or no? I don't know, um, but I will say my personal experience was I was beaten every day. No, I wasn't beaten. I don't mean to say it lately, but, I was, did it on the no, no. but <laughs> I was disciplined in the old fashioned way as they describe in this article many times. And I, I am not perfect. I have spanked my children and it didn't work with it. It didn't work with them, either, yeah. either one of them. They don't care. They're like, okay. So I don't know if I'm just not in the right mind frame. So I don't do it because yeah. it doesn't work. It's not effective. Right. For you, so. for us, it might have been effective. Or, you know, uh, right. well, even as we were going to commercial, I was like, did anybody get the belt or the, even the thread of the belt? Like, mm -hmm. if I saw my dad start taking off the belt, that made, you know, I don't, right. I can't well, remember threat, if I got it. Threat mm -hmm. of consequences is always better than yes, actual, the actual consequences, quad, yes. right? Because once you learn that, I can actually do the time for this right. crime. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Yeah, bring out the bell, pops. Bring out, right. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. No, so I think uh, a lot of parenting is uh, the threat of consequences and establishing that what those consequences mm -hmm. are going to be. We had one incident in our household with our oldest who it then became the legend oh. of the one spanking. Oh, God. Uh, and that was sufficient to kind of oh, knock it out good. for the, That's for the rest wow. of it. But yeah. also, Jim has never, he, I mean, because they, they just are afraid of, nobody's afraid of me. I mean, they're like, oh, she's talking again. But um, as, a, as a father to girls, doesn't it feel like the act of the spanking, it just feels wrong? Well, I actually, I'm not a proponent of uh, outsourcing parent parental accountability. Mm -hmm. So I get it that maybe if you're the stay-at-home parent and you get fatigued at the end of the day mm -hmm. and this is the 75th time you've said to pick up the toys and whatever, yeah. that at some point you want to make the person who's coming home the consequences, yeah. but it casts the person coming home yes, in, a negative, in a terrible role. In a terrible yeah. role. Right? So my, my, I hated, finally the girls revealed later, that every time you know Kelly saw me coming down the driveway or I'd be calling her on the ride home, she'd be like, all right, you better get your shoes on and pick your toys up because here comes dad. You know, you know how dad right. wants it. Right. Right. And right. I was like, well, wait a minute. You're making me seem like Johnny right. no fun. Yeah. Uh, but did they do it? Well, did it work? <laughs> uh, only when I was around. But then it was the, then it was the veneer right. of compliance right. rather sure. than actual sure. parenting yes. on the same page yes okay Jennifer did, did it did you were you spanked and then do you so um, I grew up in Tennessee I remember with the Blackberry story and so um, yes I was spanked and we had a paddle and um, actually I remember my best friend was actually used the belt was and I remember an experience I remember her being belted in front of me so that was very common but I have never spanked my children right um, but I don't I, I struggle with yeah. that I don't understand how in my opinion like violence can, can, can stop a behavior. I, I just don't, I don't know. Right. So I understand that, I understand why people right. do it. I understand I was raised that way, but I haven't done it. So it is much more frustrating right. to try to negotiate with your kids. There's no doubt about it. And you can get to that level. Sure. I don't know that any parent has ever not gotten to a level where they would like to be able to spank right, their kids, right. but then they yeah. say, well, don't be angry when you spank your kids. Well, isn't that the only time anybody ever spanks their kids? I well, mean, I, I don't know. Right. I mean, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I, I am mean, having yeah. a great yeah. day with you, yeah. Let's yeah. do some yeah. spanking. Let's spank your kids. Because that's the only time I would consider doing it, like would be that time. So I don't know. Well, the consequence we found that worked, and it's seriously just as painful to me when I did spank my oldest, is we throw away the thing that he loves, and it makes me want to cry doing yeah. it, Talk, even yeah. talking about it, because yeah. my husband's like, nope, and he throws it in the trash, and then my son sobs for days. I yeah. mean, it's, and now all I'll have to say is we're going to throw something away, and I mean, they both are like, no, no, no. Because, right. But you follow through. You yes. have to follow you through. Follow it's through. devastating. Right? I don't like it. I know you don't, but you know what? It worked. Well, you yeah. tell me that actually, yeah. 
um, you're you're not the heavy with that. That no. that's mostly Lee's. Yes. He's but, but watching that go down, but yeah. he, I love that he's following yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm the heavy at my house. My husband gets off the hook. He's right. the grandparent, and I'm the heavy. And so, but I but I try to make natural consequences. Right. So yeah. if you don't do this in the real world, what sure. would be the natural consequence? Too, so Nick. if you leave your stuff lying around mm -hmm. and you don't pick it up, guess what? It gets collected. It gets put in a box, and then there's a chore box right next to it. And to get it back, you have to That's draw from the chore world. box That's to earn good. it back. But, the, yeah, but it does good. send. I don't know. I, I, I do think that it sends a. So first of all, parents, I think. I think, are wanting to change behavior yes. and are using spanking or a belt or a paddle or whatever it is for behavior correction, right? Yes. And, and it makes no sense that we would say, well, it's okay for my three-year-old daughter to be spanked, but not okay for my 23-year-old daughter to be punched in the face by her boyfriend because he doesn't like her behavior. Right, so you're mm. you're you're. The, it's the kind of the same argument where yes. you're saying it's okay for this age group, but it's not okay for that age group. Yes. So we say it's not okay to take a non-compliant senior citizen in a nursing home. Can't smack those people around because they're not compliant from a behavior right. perspective. Right. But it is okay no, for a three-year-old who doesn't understand what you're trying to communicate to them. Right, it's, it's, yeah. right. it makes no sense. Well, we, they gave us some tips because research does show, or these uh, two pediatricians share tips on how to discipline effectively uh, and calm yourself down in the pro that's for me it's more calm like calming down. me mm -hmm. so number one and these all you may roll your eyes with these but uh, honestly I, I'll try it number one stay consistent multiple caretakers watch your children have everyone enforce the same behavior standards that's easier said than done yeah. if the grandparents are a little more likely <coughs> than you are luckily my mom's kind of tough yeah my and husband's a grandparent, so yeah. it's really a struggle. It's, it's a struggle. Right. Yeah. yeah, I love him, and he's so sweet with the kids, but right. the consistency thing yes. is a struggle. Right. I mean, our sitter this morning said that Isaac doesn't like to wear a hat or sunscreen to the park, and I said, well, he's three. <laughs> Like, right. he's making yeah. he doesn't yeah. know. Yeah. I, we're yes. the boss. Yeah. Like, That's why he has a parent. Mom, yeah. I don't yes. know if you yes. remember, Ma, Mary gets melanoma. Remember yeah. the book you read right. to me? Yeah. 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 Hello. Yes. Okay, so. next one. Use positive reinforcement. You know, praise them for that goodness instead of punishing for what's bad. Um, uh, uh, reward good behavior, but in the moment, they're not having good, they're, they're not behaving well. So, how do you, how do you pull out of that? Well, life? so some, some misbehavior is attention driven right so True. some so sometimes our ch and again we're talking about varying ages of children you're, you're a toddler has limited ability to act they don't know what their feelings are they don't know how to communicate what they are and they're doing the best that they can in the same way and I hate to say it because it's a bad analogy in the same way that my Labrador retriever is trying to communicate sure. something to me and I'm guessing right. hey boy what right. do you want to do <laughs> right. right well right. so Just so like too kids. is an 18 month old <laughs> right. right they yes. don't really know yeah. what it is um, so I think that some of that is trying to figure out what is it that you're trying to solve. Right. Is it a meltdown in the middle of Target? Yes. Is it uh, you're throwing queso all over everybody at the Mexican restaurant? Right. Or is it you're, yeah. you're, you're melting down in the kitchen at dinner time? Yeah. You know, and your response should vary according to the circumstances. Sure. Do timeouts work for y'all? No. I just no. throw stuff away. It depends on the kids for us. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, one it works and one it doesn't. Um, I, I think it just depends. You have to kind of meet the sure, child. The other do. thing I learned I thought was really impactful for me was that I got really frustrated with my older because she would always come home from school and have these like meltdowns and just be drama. And what I didn't think about is she had to be good all day at school. And she was having to minor P's and Q's and oh, she was right. working really hard. Mm -hmm. And she has no way to express herself if she's angry or frustrated and right. all these feelings. And so where's the, where are those feelings going to go? Like so, how, I mean, and, that, and I'm the place and the safe place where she's supposed to be able to express that. So for me, it's not so much you can't be angry or frustrated or these things, but how can we express would, it yes. in a way that is not detrimental? Because she needs to get that out. Right. Otherwise, she bottles it up, and then we have all these broken kids that have all these bottled up feelings. So yes. that's that a really was good very point. well right. said. Like very point. well yeah. said and so true. So, yeah. Something to think about. Yeah, yes. it is yes. something else. I I had happened to me this weekend. We had a double meltdown at the park. I'm like football carrying Isaac out and like both I'm like no no we're out we're out and I was so mad and I thought to myself when I got in the car I was like am I mad at them yeah I'm mad at them but I'm also embarrassed so I was like I, right. I have to think about like I don't 
who cares Oops. what those people right. think? Like, right. everybody's hopefully been there. If you're not, good for you. But, like, <laughs> you know, and so I just was like, I got teary eyed because I was like, oh gosh, I, you know, is it about me or is it about them? Is it about right. disciplining? So, was it anyway. really that bad? Well, it, it might have been. <laughs> well, because you were by yourself. <laughs> it felt that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. so yeah. yeah. you were by yourself. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like you said, it was more of all the other emotions you were feeling. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. I, I think for me, I generally. Uh, was most driven by consequences relative to the kids' safety. So my my challenge was I am tr my day is filled with risk assessment, right? I don't want you at the top of the tree because you're falling out right. of the tree. I'm not having you go down the hill in the street with no shoes on because when you fall off the skateboard, yes, that's going to be a messy. Right. That, so yeah. it, it, and I think it's challenging sometimes to figure out how to express that. To the kids, so they understand also kind of where you're, yes, where you're coming right. from. Yeah. That Some get it more easier than others. Yeah. I know. And, if, and right. honestly, if ride. you can, if you aren't willing to to be able to manage your own emotions. Give some consideration that before you sign up to being a parent, because a lot of times, pretty dang frustrating. Oh, yeah, absolutely, the most frustrating yeah. job. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Pull that no, TV we, on them; they'll learn, right? You know? Yeah, <laughs> that's like the old days. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah. All right, we want you to weigh in. Please do on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear uh, how you deal with all of that, the discipline and the consequences. So please make sure you check in there. And training with Trent is coming up next. Mm -hmm.